During the last two decades, we've witnessed an, uh, an epidemic of obesity, and everyone knows that. And we know that people with depression have a much higher rate of obesity, particularly abdominal obesity, when compared to people in the general population. What we've now learned, not just in the general population, but in the psychiatric population, is that the higher the level of BMI, body mass index, the greater the magnitude of reduction in cognition. In other words, obesity is anti-cognitive. Further illustrating this is bariatric surgery, which is the most effective treatment for morbid obesity, is highly pro-cognitive. If you lose the weight, you actually have increase in cognitive measures. And now what we've learned, based on some very rigorous science, is that obesity changes not just the size of the brain, gray and white matter making it smaller, but the functional interconnectivity of the brain is abnormal, what we call the functional coherence. And it's now known that inflammation metastasizes to the brain from the belly, insulin resistance enters into the brain, and together this inflammatory process and this insulin resistance cause changes in the brain structure and function that lead to cognitive impairment. So it's been a very interesting area. It really is another reason why we've got to focus on below the neck as well as above the neck and managing mood disorders.